Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the void. I'm player one, and welcome back to Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi 2. Last time on Dragon Ball Z, we started the Frieza one, and we did the little pre Namek saga with Zabon and Dodoria, you know, them nasty boys. And yeah. We did our second fight that unlocks a what if, and it was very challenging, but I managed to do it. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna go in, we're gonna get started with the Ginyu Force! Oh yes. Let's go. We have grouped up now. Um, that's just a Kui fight, and this is the item shop, so I think we just go. We just get straight into it. Gathering all of the Dragon Balls, Vegeta prepared to summon the dragon and make his wish. But before he had the chance, the Ginyu Force suddenly appeared. I'll take these Dragon Balls to Frieza. The rest of you stay and play with our new friends. <laughs> what a sorry bunch of losers. Gordo, you can take those two pipsqueaks. Why do I always get stuck picking up the trash? Oh, well. Okay, get ready. We have to go all out. Gordo, you get stuck with the trash because you yourself are trash. And the others don't want to bother with the weak ones. And that is why you are going to die right now. Because you are underestimating the Prince of Saiyans! God damn it. Alright. It has been a bit since I've played. So it may take me uh, a little teensy bit to reacquaint myself, but we should be balling. Yeah, yeah, we're good. No oh, nasty Goldo's gonna beat me. They had to do that for you. They had to make your combos little air bubbles, so they could actually reach. Because of your little tiny stubby arms. Die. Finish. Easiest fight of my life. Ba -bo -ba -bo -bum. And we got him. We've got the nasty gold. Ugh. Goldo attacked Krillin and Gohan, but a decisive blast from Vegeta ended the battle. Hey! They took out Goldo! Oh, man! Oh, the Ginyu Force is down to four members, huh? Guess we'll have to come up with some new poses. The Ginyus are not worried in the least after losing one of their own. The worst is yet to come. Indeed. And now we have... Big Man. Raccoon enters the fight, challenging Vegeta and the others to attack him all at once. Against an opponent such as this, is there any hope of winning? Okay, Vegeta! Now it's your turn! You don't know who you're dealing with! I mean, he kinda- he kinda does. He kinda does. Because we all get washed in this fight, even though for some reason we have to win it here. His name does in fact rhyme with doom. Oh. 
I blocked that. Okay. Nope. How did... Why did one combo do a health bar of damage? Oh my... Oh, oh my god. I... What the hell is happening? My combo doesn't do a health bar of damage. Vegeta, Vegeta is dying. Vegeta is not making out of this. Okay. I didn't mean to use explosive wave there, but it uh, it worked. Okay. Okay. You fool. And bye bye Vegeta. Sad. But you put in work. Now it's time for Be Young Han. Oh yeah. We got this in the bag. It's fine. Cause he's got the busted ass move. Now, why all of a sudden are you blocking my combo? Die. Alright, there we go. The, the AI getting a little stronger. But it does not matter, because it is still a robot, and I will always prevail. Even with all of his might, Vegeta was rendered helpless by Raccoon's vicious attacks. <laughs> not even worth my time. Look, a ship. Then, as all hope seemed lost, a mysterious spaceship touched down on the planet's surface. Goku has arrived, stronger than ever, thanks to his days spent training at a hundred times gravity. But is he prepared to face the challenges ahead? Yes he is, yes indeed he is. Because he is that man. He is that man. Sensing Gohan and Krillin's weakened energy, Goku races to the battlefield. Letting his awesome power level surge to the surface, he stands before Raccoon unafraid. I can tell just by looking, you can't beat me. I'm gonna shut you up once and for all. Are you sure? Are you sure, bud? Why is Vegeta in this fight? What? Why is Vegeta in this fight? Did did he? No, no, he didn't. Uh. I guess they just wanted to make sh make sure I demolished Raccoon. You know, after I get my stamina back. How, how... How did I get turned around? What the hell is happening? Yeah, 
There we go. There we go. You know, technically this wasn't even a fight. Goku just hit him once and it was done. So I don't know why I'm doing this. Hell maneuver was that? Share your energy with me. I didn't mean to do that, but we may be able to do something here. You know, if he goes the hell away... Okay. Maybe? The Spirit Bomb is the worst ultimate in this damn game. I will never be able to hit it. Because at least in Tenkaichi 1, you know, I just threw it out where I was. I didn't have to teleport to the center of the map. There we go. Oh, there was a Dragon Ball there. Ah, damn. It's all right, there's plenty more chances. Vegeta is shocked to see the ease with which Goku is able to crush Raccoon. Could Goku be the legendary Super Saiyan, the first in over a thousand years? Um, maybe, may, may, maybe. And then we go straight to the next one. For the first time, the Ginyu's Jason Burder have reason to be afraid. Whoever you are, I'll give you one chance to leave quietly. We're the Ginyu fools. We'll make sure you don't forget that name. Here we go. Yeah. Yeah. It's time for the Purple Comet. Oh lord, and for some reason Vegeta's not in this fight. Why was he in the Raccoon one? Make it make sense, game. At least I have a full blue bar now. Alright. So far... So far Jace is not... Never mind what the hell I was about to just say. Okay. Just gonna... Just gonna keep you here for a little bit. A little bit, Jace, you know? A nice blender. A tried and true method across many games. There we go. Yeah, okay. I can now say the thing I was going to say. Jace, not as scary as Raccoon. What happened? Birder, on the other hand. 
he he hits fast. He hits very fast in in Horde. Forget how you block rush moves now. I haven't had to deal with it that much, but I'm pretty sure you don't do it like how you did in Tenkaichi One. So I'm not I'm not sure how you do it now. Okay. Last health bar, we should be fine. There's a Dragon Ball. I want that. Goku, where are you going? Gimme. There we go. Nice and simple. And we got Dragon Ball. Finish. Bum 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 bum. And we got Birder. Oh yeah, cause this was his last fight. <laughs> uh, poor, poor Birder, the fastest in the universe. Demonstrating the fruits of his training at a hundred times gravity, Goku easily defeats the Ginyus. It's a nightmare. Having barely survived the battle, Jace flees in terror to call for Captain Ginyu. Meanwhile, Frieza went to the Namek Elder to learn the secret of unlocking the Dragon Balls. Yep, he uh, he did do that, and then he fought Nail. But uh, Nail is not in this game, so we won't see that fight. But we are going to fight Ginyu! Jace, who escaped, brings Captain Ginyu and appears before Goku and the others. We'll see how tough you are once Captain Ginyu gets through with you! This should prove to be quite a fun little battle. A fun little battle. <laughs> Goku sensed Frieza's movement and asked Gohan and the others to take this chance to retrieve the Dragon Balls. And with Vegeta, Goku challenges Ginyu and Jace to a battle. Goodbye, Kakarot! Vegeta! Gotcha! Ginyu, why are you saying gotcha like you planned that? Vegeta was just a dickhead. Luckily, it's just him. Uh-oh. That's the main thing with fighting new people. You have to... You have to see their combos and figure out... What the hell? What grab is that? That didn't even do any damage. Yeah, the, the main thing with fighting people is you have to figure out what direction their combos are in so you can figure out how to block. Why are you using this bum-ass grab again, you? It doesn't do damage? What? No, I'm confused. I'm very confused about that grab. Because it didn't do damage the first time, but it did the second time. It 
It doesn't matter. You're still going down like a chump. God damn it. He just he just rised above it. Like some like some sort of deity. What the hell happened there? Did you see what happened? I didn't touch the ground. And then all of a sudden, so much of my health was taken away. What the hell is happening? Watch. Look, didn't touch the ground, all that health gone. I don't think I'm living this. I didn't even mean to do that key blast, but it saved my life. God damn it, I was gonna press the button faster. All right, and as you can see, I've done way better. Goodbye, Ginyu. He thought he was slick sneaking up behind me and then didn't even do anything. Alright, so maybe like two more fights for Ginyu? Maybe? No match for Goku's power. Captain Ginyu uses his body swap technique to steal Goku's body. Meanwhile, having completely tricked Goku, Vegeta heads to Frieza's spaceship. Oh, oh, what's up? What's up, boys? What's up, boys? How we how we doing? Okay, so so what's here now? <laughs> A small Namekian child. Uh, give me this. This is a fight. This is a fight, isn't it? Uh, protects player dynamic from the bad guys. Ah! Of course, I'm not fucking doing that. I just left. Let's go here. I have fought enough Kuis for a lifetime. In Goku's body, Ginyu, accompanied by Jace, made his triumphant appearance. But still unused. Unused? Unused. Is that right? Hmm but still unused to his new body, Ginyu is cornered by Gohan and Krillin. A low class like Kakarot could never become a Super Saiyan. That's an honor reserved for the elite. Little does he know that technically the first Super Saiyan was Bardock. The fool. <laughs> he don't even know. All right, but this should be the last Ginyu fight, I would assume. We're fighting both Jace and, and Goku Ginyu. How did you get behind me? Nope. Let me do my combo, damn it! It's the one thing I have in this game. Sometimes the computer gets hit by it every single time, and then others it just dodges it every time. Make it make sense.
how did he get behind me? Ah! Oh, that was a nice little combo. Goodbye, Jace. I'm going to hit you with the Bakuretsu Rana. Doesn't that mean just like explosive rush? If I'm remembering Japanese correctly. How did... Nope, not gonna question it. It's the computer. The computer can do whatever the hell it wants. Go home. Do not backstep, just do the move. I tell you, the whole backstep system, worst system in the game. Just do the move when I want you to do the move. I don't want you to do the move two seconds later, I want you to do it right then. The computer can do whatever it wants, but luckily, most of the time, it just uh, doesn't decide to to dodge against that move. Okay, it's time to end this. Super unyielding spirit, Bokuretsuraba. Goodbye, Goku Ginyu. I'm so very glad they gave Gohan that move, Super Unyielding Spirit. And we got Ginyu and Jace, we got the whole force, which means we are done with their storyline. At the end of the fierce battle, Goku regained his body, but his injuries were severe. Desperate to recover the Dragon Balls, Vegeta heals Goku to aid in the fight against Frieza. Once I defeat Frieza, I'll take my time with you! Vegeta worked with Krillin and Gohan, but when he stopped for a brief rest, the dragon appeared. Krillin and Gohan outwitted the Saiyan Prince and summoned the dragon to grant their wish first. Infuriated, Vegeta goes after them, but a much more terrifying evil is also on the way. This is... it's... Frieza! Oh no! I guess this is the... the first, uh... First Frieza fight. You know what? I got a little bit of time. Let's go ahead and do it. Frieza is determined to end Vegeta and the Earthlings meddling once and for all. It's Frieza. Let's begin. It's been a while since someone has pushed me this far. You're going to pay for this, you maggots! I'm going to kill you nice and slow. If you think you can just toss me aside, Frieza, you're in for a rude awakening. Also, I like how Dende is here, but the storyline did not mention Dende at any point other than saving him at the beginning. Come on, if you think I'll go down that easily, you're sadly mistaken. As Gohan and Krillin prepare to face Frieza, Vegeta sets aside his pride to join them in battle. Join them in battle, my ass, it's just Vegeta! Why can't I use them as well? Alright. Little Frieza. You are not... 
the one I'm scared about. Even the game knows because it's letting me hit my combo. Okay. That was some shit. You you literally heard the sound effect of it being fired, and yet no. And yet it just the game just said no. Yeah, baby Frieza. Baby Frieza is no challenge. Don't underestimate us. How? What the hell? God damn it. I want I want to know how I lost that clash. How did I lose? I was spinning that shit like a Beyblade so fast. Time to say bye bye to Baby Frieza. Wow. Really? I game. Game. I I just I just want to land my ultimate. That's all I want to do, and now he's bitch slapping me. Okay, die. Are you fucking serious? Just let me land my move. Oh, now, now I win the clash. For some reason. There we go. Damn. There we go. Okay. First Frieza fight. Done. Quite a few more to go. Vegeta believes his increased Saiyan powers now rival Frieza's own. Brimming with confidence, the Saiyan Prince announces his victory. Transform, Frieza! Go on! Why don't you transform and show us your true power? You got a... you got a bad streak of doing that, huh, Vegeta? Very well! If you're really in such a hurry to die, I'll show you! Frieza transformed! Is there any hope of victory for Vegeta and the others? Uh, we will see next time. <laughs> uh, very, very good progress for today. Should be only one more episode for the Frieza saga. Should only be one more. Uh, but with that, I'll end it there. I've been player one, and I'll see you next time when we beat the nasty lizard man and then see what's next because i'm not i'm not actually sure what's next in the in-between section between frieza and cell but we will see all right bye bye